What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into sunglasses and what separates the good from the greats or the okay ones to the best ones. And so it's really just preference, but I'm gonna talk to you like some of the things and the attributes that I personally look for in sunglasses for me to get the most out of them on the water. So let's dive into it right now. First thing I'm gonna look at is, um, of course, I have a Sinner Series pair of sunglasses. I'm gonna open these up and we're gonna talk about the first thing that most people go through when they're just sort of trying to figure out what kind of sunglasses they want. Is it glass versus polycarbonate? And that's sort of the big you know, question, okay? Do you want something, um, the advantages of glass, okay? Advantages of glass is they don't scratch nearly as much. The disadvantage of glass is going to be that you're going to have um, they're heavier. Um, also, the big, big, big one on glass is they break, okay? So there's been a couple of instances, there's one instance that actually happened where I know of someone that actually had a weight come back, cracked the glass, and glass got in their eye and blinded them. So for me, just on that last negative part of that, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the polycarbonate. So for me, that's the most important. But the, the only thing I said, like, oh, so I want you guys to understand the, the one negative that I personally, the only negative I see is that you're gonna have to take better carrier polycarbonate lenses because those are the ones that you know, you will scratch those. On the inside of the case, it even says attention. Wiley X lenses offer superior impact resistance, but may scratch. Always store a protective case. So letting you guys know, like that is to me, a weight coming back and potentially blinding my eye that's numero <laughs> for your boy. I need my vision. So for real, that is something that Wiley X has hung their hat on for years. Um, and that is definitely something that I personally, day in, day out, no matter what happens, I'm going polycarbonate because when I'm out there competing, my vision is probably number one. So the next thing you need to figure out on the list is like, what is your personal preference on lens color? Lens color, there's a lot of different colors out there. There's, you know, your grays. Um, you have like a green mirror, like this one right here. You have like a bronze, this is more like a bronze every day. Um, mirror like for that one, like that, like here. Um, you also have like the really bright lenses for like running. Um, some people like that as well. So really just figuring out what your preference is. For me, day in and day out, this green mirror um, is what I prefer, obviously, because I did design this pair of glasses and I put the lens there like that to me was like, my everyday pair, okay? So day in, day out, if it's like a little cloudy, sunny most of the times, like as long as it's not bombed out cloudy and just straight like dark out, like I'm going to wear these pair of sunglasses, okay? Now, when I'm fishing um, in clouds and I'm like fishing shallow or I'm sight fishing and it's like pretty dark outside or in the morning, I will swap over to more of like that bronze lens or an amber lens because to me, I can see better in that low light conditions. I think it gets a little bit brighter for my own personal eyes, but I definitely will swap back to this because it just sort of like my eyes can't take that, that much of like, it's almost like not light penetration necessarily, it's just a brighter lens, you know? So that's sort of, to me, what I prefer. So I keep both of these, that's why I have both of them. One's signature series, one's not. Um, but they're both, for me, the same frame, okay? So that's jumping into the frame and what we're doing and like why I picked the personal frame that I did for my signature series and why I like this frame so much and what you sort of have to figure out for your own preference. So the big thing with the frames is figuring out the fit, right? We all know every frame is completely different for every person, but for me, I have a pretty large, you know, nog, I'm a big noggin, okay? And so like, I want a fairly large frame. I don't want it to be heavy, right? I don't want it to be really heavy. Cause like the one thing that I get, you know, if it's a really, I, the worst thing I hate is if like, if you have like these, the, your, your frame actually pinch on the back of your temple and then back there towards the back of your, like over your ears in that area, you get really bad headaches. So, that's the worst thing you can have. If it doesn't fit you properly, you probably need to look at a different different frame because that's not the frame for you. Um, that's that's sort of like the telltale sign. Like if you're having headaches because of the sunglasses you're wearing, you need to look in different sunglasses. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you really have to look at your style. Okay, for me, style is is not as much of number one. I always I love these frames. Just overall, they look great, fine. But really, my thing is you know having complete coverage 
and, 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 and sort of like blacking out that area is really important for me. Okay, so the next thing you're really in sort of talking about that is functionality. Your functionality of your sunglasses are really, really important. And so like when I go into like functionality, I think of that, that's why I'm such a big proponent of wearing these Omegas right here because they have such a thick band right there. Okay, so what that allows me to do is it blocks out all the sunlight. One of the most important times to wear sunglasses for me, um, and especially in competition when I'm fishing or as I'm, when I'm fishing shallow, when I'm sight fishing, when I'm fishing shallow and I can see grass beds better, all this stuff. Well, think about it. Like when you're sight fishing, you always see those guys do this, right? Why, why are they doing that? Because they're trying to block out all the glare of the sun. And that's why it's really important to have thicker bands right here. But let me see those glasses real quick. Okay. So I had to grab these, I got to borrow them. So these are sunglasses I wear day to day, all right? These ones are the Peaks, Wiley X Peaks. They have a thicker band or thinner band right here. You can sort of see, don't do as good a job of blocking out the sun. So when I'm fishing, these are awesome fishing glasses. Yes, I wear them today to day as well, but these are specifically designed to get the most out of your sunglasses and see the farthest and you know be able to see those really new those little subtle differences because you're blocking out those rays and you're blocking out that side profile i mean you can definitely see the difference when you when you look at it right there the other thing that i'm looking at when you see these right here is wind okay so you don't have that wind coming in the side wind because it's full protection you don't have like if the wind's blowing pretty hard because I have that bigger band, it's sort of like, it's not getting in there, like making me teary eyed and whatnot. So like, that's something that is pretty important as well when you're out there on the water. The last but not least is the polarization on your sunglasses. You want to have polarized lens. I had a friend of mine that was an eye doctor for years and he's like, he always got on me. He said, Jacob, you got, you wearing your glasses? You wearing your sunglasses? I'm like, man, yeah, I am. And I, I wasn't wearing them all the time. Younger, because I just didn't have, I didn't have the money. I, I just didn't have the money to have have the nicer glasses. And so I just realized how important it was for eye protection overall from the sun. He's like, look, if you want to have good vision when you're older, you better be wearing glasses. You know, he got on me about skin and everything else as well. But that sort of stuck with me throughout my years of understanding how important we got to take care of our bodies, we got to take care of our eyes. Um, and, and part of that is, is the sun protection, just like sunblock is for our skin, this polarization and these lenses are sort of like sunblock or like sunblock for our eyes. And that sun can negatively impact us for long periods of time. So that's why it's another really important reason to always have those on to take care of yourself and your own eyes. So definitely a thing you have to think about. So if you're in the market for a new pair of sunglasses, make sure to check out my friends at Wiley X. They do a great job. They're an American-owned company that works their butt off. And uh, my buddies Miles and, and the whole crew there, um, they support the sport of bass fishing. They support the sport of bass fishing, which in turn supports all of us. And that's really important. Um, and I just really appreciate their support. But I also want to give you guys that understanding of like, the, the little subtle differences that make something better. So hopefully you got something out of this video, no matter what, when you're going to buy your new pair of sunglasses, sure to think about these things, think about these factors of what you personally want. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. See you on the next one.